everyone, this is John at the Drone Life, and today we're actually in Virginia doing a 17 megawatt uh, drone solar inspection of this uh, solar farm here. So we're actually waiting for some clouds to pass right now, because uh, we need we don't have enough radiance to do the inspection. Uh, so I thought it would be a good idea to make a quick video and just give you a tour of what we're doing here. So if you come over here, uh, we have set up um, our drone. So for the inspection, we're using a DJI Matrice 210v2 drone with our X-T2 uh, thermal camera. So you need the thermal camera for the inspection to find defects in the panels, and then we also have the visible camera on there as well to locate any false positives. And we also have um, two of our DJI Mavic 2 drones. So this site, it's so new, it was just constructed. There's no satellite photos, so we weren't actually able to use our post-processing software on our iPad to map out where the Matrice will be flying since the satellite photos are too outdated without and there's no site, it's just kind of farm field here <laughs> before this. Uh, so what we actually did is flew the Mavic over here around the perimeter of the site and then kind of mapped out all the points at the edges. And then so then we can go fly the Matrice and then be able to not uh, miss spots or, or just map unnecessary areas like, like in the, like the woods or something. And then over here we have our TB55 batteries. So these are for the Matrice. We're averaging around 20 or 25 minute flight time with these. And then we also have a monitor, which so our client can actually view what the iPad is seeing, like kind of like a bigger screen so we can get, get a, a look at what we're doing. And then if you come over here, we actually have uh, this fast charger made by Colorado Drone Chargers. Now I love these guys. Uh, they make such great products. This uh, can charge four batteries at one time and up to around charge all of them from 20% around an hour or an hour and a half. So this is a really a game ch changer for us. So we don't have to buy dozens of batteries and have so many of them charged out here. So we can easily finish a flight, wait for it to cool down a little bit and then pop it on the charger and it'll be good to go soon. And so we're actually right parked right next to the inverter over here so that we can just plug in our cord and then charge the, the drone batteries. But a quick uh, tip is you actually don't wanna be taking off with your drone next to the inverter. So there's lots of like underground cables here that have super high voltage uh, that can actually cause interference when you take off and land. So this taking off right here wouldn't be a good idea. So what we actually do is go down a little bit far, uh, far down the road to like one of the open open fields and that's where we can calibrate our compass and do a takeoff and landing without any interference or anything. And so this site is actually uh, pretty unique. So there's trackers on these panels. So what happens is throughout the entire day, right now it's around 9 a.m. So it's uh, beginning in the morning and then the panels are all gonna be facing over here where the sun is rising. And then toward, uh, throughout the entire day, the panels are gonna uh, track and tilt to the angle of the sun and the sky. So, you know, later in the day, they're gonna be flat. And then, and then at the end of the day, they're gonna be facing the complete opposite way. Uh, so it's usually best practice to when you're flying the inspection have the, the camera either perpendicular to the tilt of the panels or nadir and so uh, this is something you have to really account for during the inspection because like as they tilt every 20 or 20 or every 20 or 30 minutes you have to change a, a little bit of your gimbal pitch uh, so you can account for that throughout the entire day but we're going to be out here doing the inspection for the rest of today and this is our second day being here we're almost done so just waiting for the clouds to pass but uh I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if, uh, if you like our setup or if you have any questions. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.